Well, uh, very disappointed. Um, I first give a lot of credit to Kansas, uh, Coach uh, Leipold, and what he's uh, been able to do and uh, what they did coming in, and um, especially defensively, got us on our heels, I think, a little bit. And, uh, you know, some things schematically we're going to have to take a really close look at. Obviously, when you play an early season opponent, they have the entire year to look at your film. So I think in the first two games, it's very evident, right, that some of the things that we need to do, uh, especially on the defense side of the ball, just look at closely what we're doing, how we're doing it, uh, and, and be able to make plays. I think uh, you take the second half, and obviously we made some adjustments, did some good things, but there was enough things that we did poorly in the first half that I think really put this game in a tough spot. But if you look at the end of the half, you know we give up a seven-point swing there with, with under 40 seconds. If that touchdown wasn't on the board at the end of the game, it's a four-point game. As bad as we played, as bad as the breaks, like there were several – uh, again, their guys made some plays defensively, balls batted around, that ball just fell in their hands on two different occasions. Um, you can't beat a good team overcoming those moments. So um, enough, enough positive. I thought a couple guys defensively uh, really took a challenge and played extremely well. It's good to see Xavier make that play in the end zone shot. Good to see Johnny make some plays. Uh, I think we got to look at well, you know specifically what we're doing uh, on on end of half. That's two games in a row we've given up a touchdown in the final. Uh, final minute, and obviously you're not going to win a lot of games doing that. The good news is uh, we don't start Big Ten play till next week, and uh, some really good learning lessons out here for us. we got a, an extra bonus day tomorrow as coaches. We'll take a really close look at that, bring them in on Sunday. We have a good day of corrections and a good jump on Penn State, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, I think some fundamentals. We, we preach all the time, good football plays are a result of good fundamentals. Bad good, uh, football plays are a result of bad fundamentals. I know literally – there's a play at the end of the game where we have a call on that we routinely make that it, it, we have a dead to right chase down tackle and we take a bad angle and he reverses out of it, uh, which gave them a live set of downs. And at the end of the game there, that's everything, right? There are some, some plays in the open field where we, uh, you know, they were definitely taking advantage of some, some holes sitting in our coverage and we weren't getting enough depth. Um, I think obviously uh, anytime we can't contain the quarterback and we play two very talented quarterbacks, but we can't let him escape to our left, right? A, a right-handed quarterback escapes deep to our right, and he buys extra time and allows our coverage uh, uh, to, 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 you know, cover longer than they have to, and uh, that's that's resulted in two end-of-half game uh, touchdowns that are just unacceptable. And then we had another PI uh, in the end zone that put the ball on the two-yard line and gave him a, gave him a free touchdown. Well, um, I don't know if we, I didn't sense anything. I thought our guys were pretty good coming out of the locker room, but obviously when you uh, uh, start the way we did offense, defense, you know, special teams wasn't an issue. But uh, when you start off poorly like that, uh, it puts you behind the eight ball and it makes guys flinch a little bit. And then I think it's, it, I really was encouraged by the way they responded in the second half um, uh, and the way they played. But we just, you know, you can't give a team, you can't spot them uh, uh, two quarters of football to get up like that and expect, expect to have a chance. Yeah. Well, uh, no, I don't. I don't. I mean, first year was probably a little bit. We changed schematically. We changed a, a lot of different things. But um, I think, yeah, I think first off, we got to look at what's breaking us down. They did some extreme things. They put a you know an extra wide A and B gap right, and they uh, schemed us on one drive where you know had never shown that, and it's something that we got to adjust to on the fly. There was a couple trick plays, but that's kind of what their offense is. You know, Lance and his his staff. This is kind of what they are. They do some old school traditional midline triple option stuff and they put new waves on it. Um, I think defensively what I get concerned about is when we have fundamental things that break down containment of the quarterback, uh, a sloppy tackling, um, uh, angles on, on uh, uh, pursuit angles to the, to the backside, uh, leveraging the football, uh, getting our, our coverage, whether we're zone or man, the principles of that. So uh, I think we just got to tell a wholesale, maybe we need to you know, trim it up a little bit um, and, and get better at playing what we play well. You know, we just we just uh, uh, couldn't. You know, Julian has been one of our steadies, right? So he he gets injured, so we got to move Isaiah out and, and move Jordan in, and it's like we haven't been able to settle down and play with five. I think we really got to look at uh, who our five are, what we're asking them to do. Um, I, I know one of the things I've really always liked about Barry and in uh, the way he approaches the game is maximize our players' strengths, minimize our weaknesses. And I think we have to be smart about what we're doing uh, uh, to give our players the best chance to be successful. But I thought Luke, again, just a tough, gritty performance. He took off on that long run. It just shows he could do something with his feet. I think we have to understand that and, 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 and uh, uh, do a better job. And, then, you know, at the end of the game there, it's a two-score game. We don't, need to, we don't need to throw up a ball, right? Like he'll, he'll learn 
uh, a lot from that, but I'm very, very excited uh, about where I think our offense can go. And defensively, um, you know, we'll just have to really do a, a better job of uh, taking a personal inventory on the call sheet as well as the execution of it. And I think we can make a big, big amount of gain in a short amount of time. Well, there's one in particular where I know we slid the whole line away and left Isaiah or left uh, Zion on an island. Um, you know, this is really the first time Zion's had an incomplete week of practice. He'd uh, been nursing a couple injuries, so uh, I know this. He, he's a uh, um, nobody wants to win more than him. We just got to give him help, uh, him and Geski uh, especially uh, together, and just really think about what we're doing from a protection to give them a chance to be successful once the ball snaps. Yeah, there was one Taz, I, th I think was one, and then obviously the DPI. Um, um, I, I don't know exactly what happened on the um, – yeah, well, the face mask I know we reached, we reached, but, um, you know, some of those live ball fouls, I get it. You know, like you don't want a face mask, but it's hard playing football. But the post snap on Taz, that was absolutely – like absolutely just moronic. Um, can't have those moments. Um, and I think the, the uh, DPI, we just got, got – Caught, we flinched, right, and, and uh, uh, grabbed on the jersey, and that put the ball in two yard line. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we got good kids in the program. I was pretty strong with them after the game here. Like I love to uh, love them up, and, and you know, but I also, you know, coaches included, start with starts with me, right? Like I have to do a much better job of getting our guys ready to play and having a plan that we can execute. Um, uh, this is a big week, right? A big week for for us uh, as a program. We got to. Eliminate the things that get you beat, uh, and and put ourselves in a position to have success. We just can't spot them points. I think in our first two games, there's probably you know two to three scores in both games that we just kind of give them, uh, and and you can't beat good teams doing that. Like you just we're just not good enough to overcome that. What play like you did first half today next week? What happens? What's that? If we play like we did in the first half? Today. Yep. Next week against Penn State, what happens? Well, I would imagine you'd probably have a lot of the same results. Yeah, Griff's had a good camp. Um, you know, I know Barry especially has been a guy that's always liked Griffin more. Um, you know, going back to last last year in the bull prep, you know, which got his first. I mean, Griff's just got extremely uh, – uh, he's just got a good knack in the passing game and does a lot of really good things. He's into it. He's, he he um, uh, is engaged. I think, I, I think Luke recognizes that. I – and I really like offensively, you know, the guys that can catch the ball are our three wide receivers. I saw Hank Beatty make up plays today. Uh, really, I thought early on we just got the score got so lopsided. We were running the ball pretty effectively. Um, you know, we had a couple a uh, couple big plays that, that got taken back. But um, we, we got to get in the flow of things and, and decide what our ratio is and, and probably stick to that a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah, you know, if you guys know, Griffin was a, uh, a former quarterback, and we practiced that play all the way going literally back to last year. Um, I, their guy did a really heads-up play. Once they saw him stop and get under, they, he spiked the tackle and ran the Mike Lines back through. So, um, you know, obviously uh, failed on that one, but it was it was something that we felt good going in. And uh, I think the part that we're still trying to find out with Luke is what our short yardage offense is, right? Like last year, uh, we ran, you know, several – Several sneaks and, and, and some different things on third and short and fourth and short. And this is two weeks in a row where we've, you know, not done very well in the short yards plays. Yeah. You know, I, don't, I give a lot of credit. Uh, you know, I haven't watched film, but I know he's a lot more productive today, right? And, and I think he was a guy last year. Uh, we had a good conversation on Sunday uh, last week just about where he is and what he can do. And I think he's a guy that now he's got to be him and Keith both. I think I saw Keith really pouring it out there. I know he had a. Uh, a silly play, uh, I got called for a personal foul, but um, I think the, the growth that we have has got to come from our best players, and it's got to happen in a short amount of time. Yeah, so this is what happened deep into the second quarter to get Isaiah apart from the catch. Is that somebody you had to maybe get involved earlier? Well, I will tell you this. The other teams are very aware of, aware of where number one is. They, like, literally yell out his, you know, formation, where he is, how he is. Um, but he's a guy that, again, continues to show up. I, I don't know what his numbers were today, but I know he had production. Um, I, I was just a little bit unusual in that first half. We couldn't get things going. Uh, you know, we had we had a couple three and outs, and that, that obviously uh, gets us in third yardage situations, and they, uh, you know, take away uh, the ability to make him an early down player. Especially this last drive in the first half, what did that do to your team? You didn't see so many breakthroughs. 
Yeah, it's just, you know, I don't know. I, I, I surely hope I was challenging our defensive guys, like literally when we're getting ready to score down there, I go, hey, we're going to have a, you know, we're going to have a 45 second clock here that we're going to have to deal with. And uh, obviously, the uh, we actually had him, I think, in a, a third down situation. He escaped out to our left and hit a huge play, and then it was just boom, boom again, right? So, first off, we, like, you, we can't. We can't allow the quarterback to buy extra time by escaping our, 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 our uh, contained rush. So that's, that's where everything's got to start.